Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review for one that I actually happened to find in Google Play. So I was poking around for a little bit and the game came up. Um, and it's one that I actually had wishlisted and never really followed up to install or play or check out. But it's a game called Horizon Chase. Or more properly, Horizon Chase World Tour. So it's a game that takes it lends its uh, graphics and gameplay to racing games from the 90s. There's one in particular that it actually reminds me of that I used to play. And so that's kind of what intrigued me to is finally install it this time when I saw it and check it out. So the game itself is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, when you launch the game, it'll sign you into um, Google Play Games if you have an Android device and then whatever the Apple version is, I think you can um, associate it on that side as well. Um, the settings menu is pretty straightforward. You can hit the units menu, so if you want miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Um, there's a variety of um, controls that you can set, so tap it. Um, acceleration or where the acceleration gas pedal is um, brakes left and right and things like that so I just have it set to um, the auto accelerate one so tap anywhere to break and then left and right on the left um, so that's pretty much that and then you can set your language there's a variety of options there uh, you can connect to uh, Facebook you can adjust your settings and all that um, and then you'll see this button that says restore to purchase version. So the free version that's available in Google, uh, in the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store um, lets you have five tracks for free. And then um, if you want to purchase more you, or the full version, you can pay for the full version. Um, and then you have things like achievements as well. So if you want to so, um, keep track of that and leaderboards and all of that good stuff. So. Uh, once um, you've gotten through that, um, you'll continue. So the first unlockable city is San Francisco. So I've already finished the first lap. So now I'm on the second one and I um, playing is pretty straightforward. You get three laps and you have to basically finish in the top five in order to get to the next track. And then if you want a different car, you have to finish first place in various cups and finish bonus races and things like that. So this is the current car that's available. Um, and I was thinking that there was something along the lines of upgrading cars as well, but there's nothing that I saw. Um, but you do get boosts and points and things like that, which you'll see in the game. So um, I will jump right into it. And then you also get three nitros, so basically a turbo boost that you can use to accelerate if you need to jump ahead of other cars. So um, gameplays, as you can see, I have my acceleration. Um, in on the right side and then um, control on the left um, and then I'll collect some of these as well. Um, gameplay is actually very very smooth it's um, I like the depth uh, perception depth of field and all of that so um, if you like racing games and just wanted something that you can jump into and start playing right away then you can do that. Um, so far all I've really used the nitros for on my end is um, when I hit uh, or when it's gotten into the second and third lap to accelerate really quickly so I can I don't really lose any of my spots um, and then as you can see I'm currently in third or tenth place and I need to move up five spots so um, at some point I'll probably use my turbo boost to get ahead of some of these cars um, but then in the end if I have to um, uh, jump ahead of some of them then why not so I I've jumped ahead five spots, so I'm good to go. As long as I don't mess up, then um, I should be uh, set on that end. And then, of course, since I'm only using this car, and I already know kind of what the feel of it is, that I don't have to really get used to it again since I've already used it in the first um, um, uh, round and then uh, there are um, boosts for fuel as well so there should be some coming up but that's also going to end the uh, game for me if I run out of uh, fuel so um, I mean I remember that there was fuel on the right side somewhere so um, things to pay attention to as well that um, it the game does also take into account uh, fuel and um, I'm not sure what the blue one is. I actually haven't had a chance to check that out, but um, 
as you can see, that's basically it. And then you get, um, I guess they're just tokens that you get. And then if you have gas, then you get um, bonus tokens for that as well. So I'm, my score is right now 62 out of 130, and that's um, my score there. So that's basically it. Well, since I finished fourth, I can move on to the um, next lap or next race, which is another um, circular track there. But... Um, Overall, if you just like racing games and you kind of like the games from the 90s and kind of like those Need for Speed games, but um, don't necessarily, or you just prefer a simple, straightforward game like this, not to say that Need for Speed isn't simple or straightforward, but if you just want a racing game that um, has its throwbacks and look, has the look and feel for games from the 90s, then um, this game might be the way to go for you. So, as I mentioned, the game is available for Android and iOS in their respective app stores for free. You get a few laps um, as part of the game to play out and try and test. And then if you want to uh, purchase a full game for more tracks and cities and states and all of that, then uh, definitely check it out and uh, give it a purchase. So, that's... Um, so that's really about it so i'll get out of the race for now and i'll um finish playing that uh later but the game is horizon chase available for android and ios um so if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that then you can always email me headphones at yahoo.com you can find me on twitter at patel n01 you can uh, find this video and more of or all videos on youtube at youtube.com slash patel n01 um, and of course, all links and all that other links and all that good stuff can be found on the website at pateln01.com. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.